What's up, buddy? Oh, you just want to do this? Can you at least moonwalk up here or something? That's the perfect, oh, beautiful. Go right there, that's good. Welcome to the ASMR panel. Uh, if I could just get two plates of fettuccine Alfredo, like right here, so I could just drive my hands into them and just slowly squeeze them for your entertainment. I'm sorry, I drank a, I drank a lot of milk this morning. Remember to just in your favor, just mash that like and subscribe button. Who made that? Morning. Um, it's a name I recognize. I like it. Yeah. Oh, is it? Is that a JD? Um, no. Pixie Druid. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. I oh, I turned on the projector and it worked. What a. Shout outs to technology. What a novel, novel concept. All right, so uh, we're, about, we're about three minutes out and I do regret to inform everyone that MAGFest is officially canceled. You can all go home. No refunds. Thanks for coming. Thank you for being Bye. here. <laughs> it's true, you did make it. <laughs> yeah, rip to the nine and a half hour, dude. <laughs> Um, Poach, can you check um, to see if Mike's on? Actually, Carrie, just try. Hello? Can you hear her? Yeah. Can you hear her like she's microphoned? Give me a, give me a tap. No, okay. Hello? It's low. I don't know which is which. Can you, can you give me a mic check? Carrie? Hello? Yeah. I mean, you don't really need to hear me, but I did scoot all the way here. All right, I'm also going to warn you, person. the reason why I woke up, I guess at this point, 15 minutes ago, <laughs> is because I was up until 5 a.m. Uh, dealing with, like, setup. Um, we had, like, a medical emergency that I had to go deal with. Um, so this PowerPoint presentation is going to be absolute garbage. If you know anything about MAGFest, that's pretty par for the course. Hey. In, like, a good way. Uh, it's, like, good garbage. Like, um, what's that trash like Pokemon I, I learned about yesterday? Trubbish? Shout outs to Trubbish. I learned about that. I'm yeah. personally more of a fan of Garbodor myself, but Is that know, a real thing? I think I think that's the evolved form. Are you <laughs> serious? I haven't played Pokemon since Gen 4. Um, okay. Thank you. Cool. Well I I love that in this panel room, at least like fifty percent of the people know that. You know, like how often does that happen in the Gaylord National? Not very often. Once a year. An anime? Katsukon? <laughs> Katsu what? Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> cool. Um, do right. you know if Deb's coming? Uh, she's she might be here a little later, but not now. Okay. You want to start? Sure. All right. Take it away, Poach. So anyway, for those of you just joining us again, welcome to the ASMR panel. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh no, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Magfest 2022. Woo! That is literally the most energy I have ever seen this man expel in my whole life. Oh, give it up for Josiah one more time. Holy shit, we're, we are here. We are at MAGFest. We actually did it. Oh my goodness. Well, welcome everybody to MAGFest, uh, Super MAGFest 2022 here in National Harbor once again. It's a, it's a bit of a different MAGFest, that's for sure. Uh, for those of you who were not here last year, that's all of you, because we didn't have MAGFest last year. <laughs> um, we had it the year before, and it was really awesome. It was a pretty standard uh, Super MAGFest if you were here. And, you know, generally speaking, we have, what, like 22,000 people, something like that, 23,000. Uh, this year, it is going to be drastically reduced, which means shorter lines in the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> and at the merch booth and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, now, uh, obviously, this is a much different experience than um, you guys are probably used to. And can I just say real quick, uh, I have not seen a single staff or attendee 
with their mask pulled down. Holy shit, you guys are amazing. I cannot believe that. Thank you so much. Give yourselves a round of applause because COVID really sucks and we don't want to spread it and everyone here is doing their part and that is so unbelievably magical. Seriously, thank you so much for that. Um, but of course, you know, this is going to be a little bit different and we are taking a lot more uh, safety precautions. Everyone here is vaxxed. I know that we've been doing a lot of applause, but seriously, the biggest round of applause for getting yourself fucking vaccinated. Woo! Thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys are here. We are going to have an incredibly fun uh, event, an incredibly fun long weekend. We've got so much uh, in store. We've had a lot of things canceled too. But the cool thing about MAGFest is it's kind of like going to like Disney World where like if you go for, you know, just a couple of days, maybe you'll see 10% of it, 20% of it. And, uh, you know, I always have this problem in MAGFest where I know the things that I like. You know what I mean? Like I know the things that I discovered back in like MAGFest 8 and I'm like, oh shit, I got to just keep doing that. And so every year... I show up and I'm like, well, that's my plan, you know? And it's honestly sometimes rare at this point that I deviate and try something new. Uh, but I've never done that and not come out surprised with like either the quality or just the sheer amount of like passion that a lot of our staffers, attendees, and everyone who contributes to the event have for these small pockets of fandom, these small pockets of entertainment. Like, I never knew what the hell a bridge simulator was. I thought it was like, like that bridge construction game where you have to like walk across. And, and I went up there because I, I like engineering and I was like, oh, this is a different kind of engineering, cool. Um, and so there's so many, there's so many small things at MAGFest that you absolutely have not discovered yet. And so... Can we I, get an actual bridge simulation department? <laughs> yeah, you know? it's just this table, but we have to have <laughs> Josiah walk across. I'm imagining Dad That's going sad. in there, yo, bro, tell me about these arches. <laughs> yo, bro, what Dude, are these struts it's, looking it's like? It's all about the triangles, man, all right? Load-bearing triangles, all right? <laughs> this whole time, I thought the bridge simulator upstairs was actually for the card game. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Then my mom should be at MAGFest. That's like... So, but my whole point here is if your favorite thing is canceled, if your favorite thing is not showing up, um, or the thing that you came here for, that really sucks, and we're really sorry about that. Uh, I wish, you know... But we, we have five killer queens, so that makes up for it. That's Woo! true. We have five killer queens. <laughs> and we have so, so much more Step out of your, you know, um, not comfort zone. That's the wrong thing to say <laughs> at this point. Step, step out of your norm. Go explore yeah. some, like, really cool things. Go grab a board game that, like, you've never heard of. You know, find, find a couple people to hang out with. There's all kinds of awesome stuff here. And even though we're missing some people, even though we're missing some content, there is still... You could be here for two months and still not explore everything. So I do also want to give a huge shout out to our entire staff. Uh, those of us, uh, or th those who are still, not whip, fuck. <laughs> those, <laughs> th those that are, those that are uh, here in person, but also gigantic shout out to all of the staffers who prepped throughout the year. Uh, throughout the two years, really, to make this event and so much of this content possible because we couldn't have done it without uh, all of the volunteers, all the staffers, obviously all the community. And so I think this is going to be my last round of applause for, I don't know, the next like 45 seconds. But please give one huge round of applause for all the staffers who are here or not here. They're the ones who truly make this possible. All right. So... With those formalities out of the way, let's get into some the real <laughs> business of MAGFest, which is what is MAGFest, okay? We've got two big things, all right? MAGFest is a 24 hour a day for four days straight party here at the National, uh, the Gaylord National in National Harbor, DC. All right, we have, I don't know, actually I can't read my slides from here. Let me do this. Why don't you just make it bigger? Mm. Oh, ooh, mm. ooh, tacky. Look at that. That's delicious. Um, <laughs> we are entirely community run. So we are for the community, by the community, for the community again. All right, you are going to see us um, all over the place. Anyone you see wearing one of these staff, 
badges is 99% certainly a volunteer. Um, anyone you see wearing an attendee badge with a volunteer ribbon is 100% a volunteer. Um, we are here because we want to be. We are here because uh, we're really passionate about putting on these events for you guys and making sure that you guys have a good time. So if you see a volunteer, like Dak said, uh, give them like a socially distanced high five and thank them so much. I like to call it a Y5. You right in the back, Y5. You ready for this? Ready? Yes. Oh my God, I got so many there. That was awesome. Right. If you guys haven't seen it yet, well, you haven't seen it yet because we're not open yet. But when you go downstairs to the expo halls, you get to pick your poison. Hundreds. Arcades, console gaming, PC gaming over in land, Maryland Ballroom, um, tabletop gaming. You're going to see it. You're going to see all this musical performances. We've got a huge lineup for you guys this year. We'll, we'll go over it in a bit. Um, anything you would like. Um, we also have MAGFest the company. MAGFest Inc. is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to making the world a better place through video games. Um, MAGFest Super, this event, is one of those events put on by the company. Um, we have a bunch of other events. Have you guys ever heard of something called Magstock? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tie-dye is a very Magstock thing. Um, how about MagWest, for instance? Yeah, okay, All cool. Right. All right. Yeah, I, They're still trickling in They're from still trickling in from California. <laughs> <laughs> our, our one Magfest, our Mag, Magfest, our wet MagWest staffer is overworking at the uh, the Super Show, which is a new event we're doing this year. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it's uh, the what? This Magfest Super Show? What? That doesn't sound right. The Super Magfest Super Show. There I believe we go. you made that abbreviation, and everybody <laughs> but you hates it. That's true. That's accurate, actually. It's uh, it's great. We call it the uh, Simpson. The Simpson. Mm. Silent T. Um, <laughs> do you want me to talk about that real quick? Uh, sure. Yeah. Go for so it. the Super Magfest Super Show trademark is um, it's our uh, digital version of MAGFest. It's a little bit different than some of the past, uh, you know, digital, uh, digi digitalized events that we've had like MAGWest and, you know, like the telephone and stuff like that. And really what it's meant to do is kind of bring a slice of life of MAG to people who can't join us in person. Um, and so there's all these, there's going to be a bunch of small, uh, I guess like vignettes of MAGFest. So, you know, shout outs to like the Danny DeVito Shrine. We might go interview the people who have put that together because it's a piece of insanity that you can only get while you're here. And so we're going to uh, basically do it, ca capture as much of that. We also have a lot of uh, pre-planned content. That's going to be on uh, twitch.tv slash MAGFest, and it goes from uh, 6 to midnight on Friday and Saturday. And then throughout the rest of the weekend, we are still streaming all of our content on twitch.tv slash MAGFest and a bunch of the uh, uh, sibling channels that are listed on there. But uh, it's, it's going to be pretty fun. I'm really excited about it. Uh, there's going to be some, some wild surprises and whatnot. So. Definitely tune in, you know, whenever you're uh, maybe up in your room trying to take a bit of a break and, uh, you know, you, you still want to live vicariously through, you know, Poach, who's going to be hosting the whole thing that he just found out four seconds ago. <laughs> Give it up. Poach. Woo. Poach. 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 I accept. <clears throat> Graciously. So. At this point, I've got to ask the question. For how many of you is this your first MAGFest? Oh, okay, oh, that's, that's, oh my oh, god. Shit, yeah. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. I knew this happens every year, opening ceremonies. You see, these are the guys that go to other conventions and go to their opening ceremonies and go like, oh, this is how we, we learn about the event and the kind of what to do and what, what might be interesting. Um, and they have not been to MAGFest before because they have not been to an opening ceremonies where that is not at all what happens. Like, this is what our opening ceremonies looks like. Yeah. It's just Mario running around with a dollar, two hundred dollar bill on his nipples. He doesn't, have nipples. Nipples. Yeah. He doesn't have nipples. Oh, it's working well. That's yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's been two years. I haven't learned to talk to people yet. Um, Yo, shout outs for socializing weirdly. Like, yeah. isn't it crazy that we have to talk to human beings again? It's fucking weird. So weird. Oh, yeah, we were all doing so much of that before COVID. <laughs> so, for those of you in the room, one more time, put your hands up if this is your first MAGFest. I want everyone else, look around, identify one of those people, go up to after this panel, and harass the shit out of them. Oh, yeah, my just God. Fucking scare them straight. 
Make them your friend whether they want you to or not. Okay? I see people cracking their knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Say what? Yeah, I, I cannot actually condone you actively harassing people, but I would say, hey, identify a person, go up and say hi, okay? We're it, all trying to get back to the socialization it, thing. It, it, it is worth noting, though, in all seriousness, that we are still attempting to social distance, especially with people that you don't know. So give everybody, you know, the space. No physical contact unless accepted by both parties. Mm. So that is true, and that that's a that general will come rule up later. always. Yeah, that's also that's a general rule. But I mean, the thing is, it's hard to resist a high five. I could probably walk up to like eighty percent of you and just be like, "Yo, what up?" And I'm getting that right. I'm getting that high five. So just you know, <laughs> think about it. So anyway, to be more like some, some other opening ceremonies, I thought it'd be a good idea to put together what I'm going to just call. You guys okay? Cool. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Cool. Hey, come on in. We have a lot of seats up in yeah. front too. So if anybody's hanging out in the back and they want to uh, yeah, awkwardly we... walk up the center while we all look yeah, at them in, in pure silence. There's okay, applause. nothing awkward about this whatsoever. This is cool. Now it's even worse for the rest of you. You have to follow that. Oh, we didn't do introductions, we did we? No. Did we do introductions? Oh, shit. Uh, you want to just go down the line? Yeah. Uh, sup, nerds. Um, I'm Eric Poach. Uh, uh, for eight years, I've been a performer at MAGFest. I, uh, I was the, I'm the host of our improv D&D show, Whose Rolls It Anyway. Woo! Canceled this year. Woo! -ah. Oh. It's okay. We'll be back. We're still alive. Um, also, uh, on the board of directors. Hi, nice to meet you. Dude, look at all these people. This is ridiculous. I know. I think this is more people we've ever had show up to opening ceremonies. This is the most it's people I've seen in one room. place in two years. <laughs> you see, that's the, that's the idea. You trim the room, and it then makes it, it look bigger. Cool. Ah, yeah. Yeah. so you trim it and make... Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I am Dak. I'm uh, an employee at uh, MAGFest. I am the communications director. Um, I've been attending MAGFest now for, I don't know, four, tw 13, 14 years, something like that. Um, and... Uh, I started volunteering um, in the charity department, and uh, to this day, I still uh, help host the charity auction with uh, my good friend Big Adam and uh, Little Steve and Justin and all the charity department people. So, uh, big shout outs to them. But yeah, I'm Dak. Nice to meet you guys. Um, I'm one of uh, MAGFest's volunteer coordinators, the unpaid one, because uh, I do it on a volunteer basis. And also uh, one of the department heads of our staffing operations department, which is functionally another way of saying volunteer coordinator. Um, I'll get to it. <laughs> I'm a secretive individual. I like to reveal things on my own time. All right. My name is Josiah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, that was it. We applaud now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Carrie. I am the president of the board of directors. Whee! Uh, Whoa! Uh, but more importantly, I'm the arcade department head. Woo! Uh, yeah. So, let's move on. Ten rules of Magfest. Okay. I put these together, I think they'll be super helpful, but do, do remember, I put these together at like 5 a.m. last night, so we're going into this blind together, okay? <laughs> Rule number one. Oh, okay. Listen to some music, okay. What's the first letter of MAGFest? Maggot. M. Mag, yes. In fact, it is MAG. Come on in! Get Huddle in. you, yeah, come on. Right. Come on. Hey! The water's fine. That little word mag stands for three things, music and gaming, all right? We are here to celebrate music and gaming. So first thing you should do, obviously, go listen to the, some gosh darn music. Whoa, okay? language. I know. And our lineup today, or actually, yeah, all day today, we've got tons of great acts. We really like do. Master Sword. Anyone heard of a little band called Master Sword Whoa. before? All right. The Audio Gremlins, Magnificent Danger. Um, how about some Lacey Johnson? Is Lacey, Lacey Johnson? still coming? I don't know. Oh, yes. We're just trying to figure <laughs> out. Yeah. Oh, man, dude. I am 
legit sucks. <laughs> yeah. The opener. Oh, man, and Master Sword. Holy crap, this is going to be awesome. Or how about tomorrow? Um, from 3 p.m. to midnight, we've got Triforce Quartet. Yo, huge Woo! shout out to Triforce Quartet. It's so nice to have them back. Such good people, too. We've got Bit Brigade. Yeah. Doing their triumphant return to MAGFest. And also a little band you might have heard of that I believe is like just resurrected for, for this show. Kirby's Dream Band? They dropped. They dropped. Womp womp. I'm reading. I'm Everybody reading F's old, in chat for Kirby's Dream Band. An old thing. I do know that Mega Rand is going to be here, though. Yo. The Megas. The what? The Megas. Yo. Watch out for Snakes. Um, up and coming act. Really great. Highly recommend. Go see him. He's like a... I don't know, he's like a guitar, guitar-y Speaking of, of we've got, I, I, the Super <laughs> Guitar Bros are coming, right? Yeah. Yeah, Super yes. Guitar Bros, those, those boys. We have, and of course, that's just main stage. We have so much on our uh, chip space. We've got the Belvedere, which I think is where the real music happens, to be totally honest. Uh, <laughs> big shout outs to uh, Scott and team for that. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Hey. If you want to look for mag music at MAGFest, you do not have to go far. If you guys have seen anything in the hallways that look like a, like a little table, and then they've probably got a sign next to it that says Jam Pod, you'd be surprised to learn that those are actually called Jam Pods. Um, this is going to be where you guys, as a community, set up, do whatever the hell you want as far as it's musical. If you want to uh, play your didgeridoo, uh, Super Mario Bros. Wow. Scene, all right? Wow. 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 Go for it. Yeah. If you want to do your DJ set, find one of the ones that has like a plug and it's not set up to be specifically acoustic. Go for it. If you want to uh, yodel the Pokemon theme, go for it. If you want to play Time Scar from Chrono Cross on a recorder, go for it. All right. If and you want to, if you want to do it in more of a specialized setup space, though, we do also have our jam space, which is going to be in the back of the Chesapeake rooms. If you go Josiah and or Dak. I know nothing, and or carry, and or poach. I know nothing about how to produce music. Everything I do breaks glass and kills birds. Right? How could I learn to, to perform music? Well, you might want to go check out our jam clinic, which is, I believe, going to be over here in the, uh, the Baltimore rooms. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the place where you go. You're going to have a dedicated team of people who are going to help you try to work together and, and, and learn how to jam, learn how to play your play some it's, instruments. It's insanely helpful, especially for anybody who uh, like plays an instrument, you know, can maybe read music or, you know, follow changes, but maybe hasn't played with anybody before. That to me, you know, like took a bunch of piano for years, never played with another soul. Jam Clinic is where you want to be. They're going to walk you through, I don't know, all the like weird things, you know, like all the weird whatever for band people and it's it's really nice it's very cool yeah. i think that i mean we are never going to be able to describe everything you can do at a mag no, fest no, here no, on the no. stage but we're gonna try we're trying right we're trying now. our best but you know just come bear on in mind. In, everybody come on we come got on. some chairs yeah. over here we got space over there we want to be as welcoming as possible <sighs> do your best all right rule number two Go play some gosh darn games, okay? What's the second letter of MAGFest? A. A. And, okay. And games, and games. What's the third letter? It's G. G. Games, 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 games. games, 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 games. games. Yeah. And that's why I'm gonna turn it over to our good friend Carrie to talk about what's coming into our arcade. And if you know anything about what's going on with consoles, go for it too. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, cool stuff happening in the arcade this year. I know I saw like on the interwebs, people are like, oh, this group dropped and this group dropped. But we've also gained collectors, and we've had people that we've had before bring more games than they've ever brought before. So for instance, this year we have five Killer Queen cabinets. That's <laughs> insane. We've never had more than two. Um, uh, we have three X-Men six-player games this year. Yes. X-Men. Hmm. Including our own, which will be in the museum, the classic arcade museum, which is in Chesapeake, I believe. Yes. So if you're looking for classic arcades in the arcade, uh, they, a lot of them moved to uh, Chesapeake. That started last MAGFest, and it's really cool. It's more intimate. It feels like an actual arcade. But we are only down maybe 20 cabs this year. So the arcade That's is nuts. just as amazing as ever. Consoles is just as amazing ever. For the first time ever, arcades and consoles are doing joint tournaments where you start a game in consoles and you finish it on the arcade version. That's I know F-Zero is one of those games. <laughs> Area 51. That's sick. There's a thing called a Flight of Tekken where you can uh, play every <laughs> Tekken in a tournament. 
That's actually great. <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of really cool uh, arcades, consoles, a lot of stuff even cooler than before. Yeah, seriously, one of the most fun things you can do is just wander to the arcade and just see what tournaments are happening. One year, I accidentally entered a Pokemon Snap tournament. And, and he I won. came in second! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Also, we have Go more skee-ball than on. ever. We have four lanes of skee-ball. We have basketball games. What? Uh, now, Perry, uh, is the the expo hall is going to be closed i think from 4 a.m to 8 a.m is that correct yeah all of the expo halls will be closed from 4 to 8 a.m for cleaning and basically some staff staff shortages so uh yeah you won't get to get your 4 a.m or 8 a.m or 6 a.m arcade time in i know how i know how everybody here likes to wake up at like 5 30 to get an nba jam tournament in and i'm sorry you're gonna have to just do it in your room but it, with the smaller crowd, there's going to be less lines for video games so, or, and everything. So, yeah. so that means we shouldn't we have an issue. We can all finally try that weird washing machine game. Yeah. There's a new washing machine game, too. It's called, like, uh, Waka. I don't, Waka. I don't, dude, I've played that one. That one's really cool. I have no idea. That's it's not fun. my area. Like, but, <laughs> you I know, mean, it is because it's arcade, but you know. All right. If your heart is cold and none of that has impassioned you, I would say, A, you're dead inside, but B, you might also want to check out the Maryland Ballroom where we've got our like gigantic, gigantic LAN. Do you bring your PC? If not, no big deal because they got PCs aplenty. Yeah, free play PCs. All with, I was just literally talking to our, our LAN department about this yesterday. All of them have like 30X graphics cards in them. <laughs> so you can like pop, Steal probably them. play on a computer that's better than the one you have. You're trying to mine some cryptocurrency? Yeah, yeah. That's actually just, that's how we're currently funding MAGFest. <laughs> we're mining NFTs Why that will be for sale. <laughs> No <laughs> NFTs. <laughs> if you are uh, some kind pull of... Up, uh, pull up, taking an NFT. Oh, no. Uh, if you guys are some kind of, like, I don't know, uh, Amish person who somehow stumbled in here, I'm so sorry. But we also have a tabletop gaming section. That's going to be out in the Riverview Ballroom. All right. Woo! You play yeah. board games? We've got all these indie games. Um, we, we put a huge emphasis on bringing in indie developers and kind of showcasing their, their works. We have one for... Come indie on in, bud. Games. That's Come called Mivs. We have one for uh, like people who kind of put together indie arcade game cabinets. That's called Indie Arcade. Both those are going to be in Expo B, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have Indie Tabletop Games, which is going to be out in the review with the, with the rest of Tabletop. Um, so, lots and lots and lots of gaming you can get done. So just as a quick summary for anybody who is new and is looking for the SparkNotes version of this. Um, in this kind of area, we have a lot of things like panel rooms and a lot of like interactive things like Jam Clinic um, and uh, you know some of those. On the very bottom floor where you went to uh, get your uh, badge in registration, all of those expo halls, that's where Arcade lives, that's where Consoles lives, that's where the Marketplace lives. Huge shout out for the Marketplace. That's where things like the MAGFest merch booth and the charity uh, merch booth are. Am I missing anything? Yeah, but just a heads up, if you're an old timer and you're used to the layout for the expo halls, they are flopped this year. So the arcade is just in A. Yeah. Uh, because we thought we arcade. would make load in as hard as possible this year with yeah. COVID. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, arcades in A, consoles in D, special filling in the middle. That's right. Uh, and um, if you're unfamiliar with what the Riverview Ballroom is, that is actually, you kind of have to go outside. Uh, what's the best way to describe this? Just go straight out from the atrium, but don't go in the river. Yeah, and so the atrium is where, like, yeah, kind of go around the double dick fountain, like, to the right, mm -hmm. and then there's a door, and you can just, and anybody who is like, I, sorry, can you just rewind one sec, double dick fountain? Just yeah. talk to somebody who's been here before. They understand what's, what's up. Um, and that's where uh, all the tabletop uh, stuff is. That's going to be tabletop tournaments, panels, all kinds of... And I mean, like, the tabletop section is unbelievably huge. Like, they have 
every not- single game. I think last year I played like Dark Souls with uh, like four of the expansions. It was actually nuts. So definitely check that out. And then of course, on this level, if you uh, exit out to the right and then cross over to like the more convention center side of things, that's where um, uh, if you take a left, that's where land's gonna be. If you take a right um, past the escalators, that's where all the concerts are. There is a lot of signage everywhere. Um, that you should, you know, you should be able to get around uh, just using that. But I highly, highly, highly recommend that you download the guidebook app on your phone. Um, you can go to schedule.magfest.org. This is also on your badge, and uh, that'll take you to a landing page that has, uh, you know, the the schedule on there. I recommend grabbing the app because then you just don't have to keep reloading it over this you know, shitty network that, uh, you know, a thousand or 10,000 nerds are using all at once. So uh, definitely grab uh, the guidebook app. You took the words right out of my mouth because rule number three, and I cannot believe we're going through these rules so slowly. Uh, well, I guess we have a lot to say There's is like go wash some gosh darn panels, okay? Hey, if you're sitting in this room, you can check that right off your box. Okay? Woo! You might want to go see more than one to, if you really want to follow the letter of the law, but check out that guidebook app. There are dozens and dozens of really interesting panels from anywhere from like the history of YouTube poop all the way to just like I, I think there was like a meme group that's getting together to just talk about their memes. Um, <laughs> was that the 21 the plus? Says 21 plus. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, JS Joust. Um, is that a panel? Is that a panel or is that an event in the arena? Yes. It's an event. Okay. We have awesome. events as well. Check that out on guidebook. We have some certain spaces that are set up for like actual like stuff like JS Joust. Has anyone played that game before? Did anyone not know what it is? Okay. It's just social distancing the game. It's social distancing the game. Okay. <laughs> we get a bunch of old PS uh, PlayStation Move controllers like with the, the little bubble ball on top. All right. And your goal is basically just to knock the other persons over. Yeah. In a big circle. It's great. So you're sword fighting with little Hitachis. You're sword fighting. You're sword fighting, but you're using your hand as the sword. I'll t- ask and me after the panel. Yeah. Ask me after the panel. Now, what is the next slide? The next Are slide is, is an important one. Don't do okay? this. Learn this sound. Okay. Our old timers, help me out here. <laughs> when you hear this, this is a call and response. One person will do it like so. What? Okay. And then I go. What? Yeah, and then everyone else is going to respond in the same sense. It's like a weird combination of you know jubilation, battle cry, this is mating how you know call. You're part of the cult, you know. It's Colossus the- Roar. Yes. So speaking of, uh, Carrie had alluded to this earlier, but um, if anyone has actually played the X Men arcade game, this is where that roar came from. So uh, there are like signs um, heading, like when you get into the hotel area, that have Colossus with like a big no symbol on it. Do not Colossus roar in the hotel. Keep it in the convention center. But do it as much as you want and as loud as you want in the convention center. That's great. Yeah, yeah, the Colossus were something that's just awesome. baked into the, the, the history of MAGFest. I am not at all well-versed enough to talk about it. Um, I've got a couple origin stories, but I don't know if any of them are true. Yeah. <laughs> I, Carrie's probably the best one to know, but uh, unless you'd like to tell it right now, like really burning passion, we should just roll, and you guys can catch Carrie in the arcade this week and oh, yeah, give you that story live. Or, pan- uh, or panel. Yeah, true stories of MAGFest staff. That's another panel. Go, go do that oh, panel, no. too. Um, I might wear the same pants. I might. I'm not going to wear the same pants. Take off the pants. Woo! I hope you bought your pants. I did. Um, Rule number five, guys. Okay, we talked about this. Do not harass people. Learn to respect their distances. But try to make some new friends while you're here, okay? Socially distance. Otherwise, we're struggling here in this pandemic to try to keep some human connections. So, you know, work on making some new ones while you're here. You're going to make some lifelong friends. I I would say... yeah. For my first MAGFest on, I, I made friends that I live with now. I made friends that I, I work with. I made friends that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. Just because I kind of took a step out. I know. Thank you. Um, I took a step out and I just made those yeah, friends. Yeah, just, it was great. It, it, that's like, honestly, so there's, you know, I'm sure. How, how many of you guys have ever been to just another, like, convention or event? Anime convention, gaming convention? Nerds. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there are a lot of different events out there and uh, a lot of them are really really great and a lot of them are like eh, I, you know come for the content or whatever 
MAGFest has always been come for the content, stay for the people, stay for the experience. Um, there is uh, this sort of like philosophy that uh, has been kind of running in the back of my head for the last 10 years. I, I keep trying to think, you know, what makes MAGFest MAGFest? And I think that's a question that a lot of us, especially like, you know, on the uh, inner side, like the staff side of things, we really ask ourselves that a lot because, you know, it's, it's magic and if possible, we kind of want to distill that and emphasize that, right? And um, I think there are a lot of people who have a lot of different opinions on what makes MAGFest feel the way that it really, like, truly does and what sets it apart. For my money, I tr and I truly genuinely believe this, I think that it comes entirely from our staff. And I think it comes from the top down. The people who have been historically in charge and are currently in charge, they genuinely do this out of passion and out of love. And their biggest goal is to make sure that everyone leaves here with a smile and everyone has the best time possible. I've gone to a bunch of other shows where you get staffers who are there because they've never had a modicum of power and they want to, you know, maybe mm. juggle a little bit of that and maybe tell you, oh, yeah, you got to get your thing, you did go, you know. And that's fair. We need rules and regulations. And that's not to say that we don't have that. But it is very, very rare to find an unfriendly face here at MAGFest. And I think that that really emanates from uh, the staff and just sort of the really chill vibe. And uh, the craziest thing is that that kind of thing really reflects with like all of the attendees too. I've never ever been to an event ever where I can just like walk up to somebody and be like, hey, how's your day been, you know? And then they're gonna go into it and they're gonna be like, I actually just saw this really cool, I did this like D&D &D LARP thing and I'm, that's awesome. So. Josiah is 100% right. Everyone here is super duper friendly. And if they're not, tell them to fuck off. So. Rule number six, okay? No swearing. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Stay up late, guys, okay? So much of the content that happens at MAGFest, we are a 24-hour event. Grand, some places are going to be shut down for a bit overnight, but if you stay up late, that's when you find some of the, the true gems of MAGFest. That's true. Like the, uh, the wild for shit. For instance, you might see this gentleman here in the front who's not paying attention to my fucking panel, um, wearing a Paul name tag, okay? That was a genesis out of a panel that happened at like, it had to have been 2 or 3 a.m. Uh, 3 a.m. panel, where the name was, it was just the panel name was just Paul, right? Paul wastes time, okay? Paul never showed up to the panel, and they created a cult out of it. I mean, he technically wasted the time. He wasted yeah. their time. He's wasted their time for how many years afterwards? But it's a beautiful part of this community <laughs> that we love. And year six of this damn cult. It's great. Um, a lot of cults here at MAGFest. Many cults. Okay. <laughs> Which falls right into rule number seven, okay guys? Find the weird shit, okay? Yeah. If you see a panel that has just maybe a little bit of a strange name, don't make my mistake that I made at West one year where we, we saw a panel with a weird name, we kicked it in, um, and we kicked in the door and it was a diversity panel and it was very, 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 very subtle. Check it out first, scope it out, but if it's weird, stick around, have some fun, okay? You might have seen the Danny DeVito shrine downstairs. That is a weird thing that just... And feel free to add to that. Actually, add it's add really it. funny. Yesterday, we were setting up all the signage, and we're kind of like getting our shit together as a team, and then literally a crew of like 10 people show up, and in the span of maybe 45 seconds, they clear everything out, they set up all the Danny DeVito stuff, and then they just jet, and I'm like, can we maybe get them on staff? Because holy shit. It's just great, yeah. Of course it is, yeah. It does. The... Uh, like I said, we've seen some wild and weird shit, even so far as this week even. Um, so if you want to hear about some of that, again, I'll pump the True Stories of the MAGFest staff panel, because that's my panel. Um, that'll be Saturday night at midnight. Um, but try to find some of it yourself. Just walk around, wander around, go see things while you are trying to make friends, while you are trying to go do some of these, these other things. Okay, guys? Cool. Do it or you're banned. Or whatever, you know. And finally, I'm going to say this one. This is the last rule. This is possibly the most important rule here at MAGFest is be the content you want to see. 
All right. So much of our content. You can't show this one. I'm going to show this you one. Can't show them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so so much of the content that we have here at Magfest is produced by the community for the community. Just wait until rule ten, okay? Um, oh my god. So much of this stuff. I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, everything, right? Like yeah. Jam Clinic, Jam Space. Like, there are so many departments that are now crucial pieces of the MAGFest DNA that started because some asshole set up a keyboard in the hallway. You know, like, that's how, that's all it takes to plant a seed. Then you get people latching on. Before you know it, you know, you're sucking up to this guy so that you can have, uh, you know, panels three at noon on Thursday. So <laughs> I'm not responsible for the panel room in any way, shape or form. My lawyers told me to instruct. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely like, uh, you know, especially even just small things, you know, if there's people hanging around and someone's on their switch, you know, just be like, hey, you want to want to grind on some switch? I, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 so don't many say other it. Things let's, you explore it. Said. let's explore it. I don't want to. Let's, let's just sit with it. And hopefully, <laughs> just still sitting, sitting done. Hopefully you guys see how, how we're trying to produce that. You see the jam pods, you see the spaces we have set up just for community interaction. Like if you guys have a really cool idea, we would absolutely love to hear it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there are not many other shows that would allow a year after year persistent trying to Danny DeVito. So if we like if that's our top bar, you've got a lot of room there. Oh, yeah. And it's not our top bar. <laughs> no. <All right>, guys. <laughs> and then the last the last few rules are also really important, guys. OK, rule number nine, kiss a volunteer directly on the lips. Right. Yeah. Do not take a picture. Go to the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do not. <laughs> Twitter Rule number hits. 10, don't actually kiss volunteers on the lips. Just thank them and also maybe hand in hand with rule number eight, be the content you want to be. If you want to help us put on this MAGFest event, come out and help us volunteer. Over in stops, um, down the operations hallway, Azalea 2, we'll be there, me and my staff. If you want to help out, if you have a burning passion to get involved with one of these spaces here at MAGFest, let us know and we'll get you connected. Okay? <laughs> so. We have a special <laughs> offer for uh, walk-ons this year. Josiah, Yeah. as soon as you did number nine, that slide, two people saw it and left, and I'm pretty sure they're out there kissing volunteers right now. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, so. Mary Litmus, I guess. Um, uh, that's pretty good. That was a good one. I, I, I try. Yeah, that was good. Uh, yeah. All right. Is there anything else? The real rules of MAGFest, actually, okay? Everything else up until now didn't matter. Yay! But, but no, guys. be a quiz. <laughs> try to, if you, can, if you haven't already, try to go through, read our code of conduct. Um, everyone's beholden to it. Staff, volunteers. They, uh, they should be at all of the uh, entrances as well, uh, as well as the list of uh, COVID rules. And um, you can also check out all of that on... You don't even need to type in the whole thing. You can just do magfest.org slash code of conduct or slash COVID. Yep. And then just some general reminder tips, okay? This is our first year back in a big way. So many of us have just spent multiple years indoors, not interacting with other people, um, not partying wildly, although some of us, our livers are actually a lot stronger after the pandemic. Take it easy, okay? Um, like I said, our medical staff, along with all of our staff, are actually stretched pretty thin. Um, last night I had to like call someone, I'm, I'm just gonna tell this anecdotally, I had to call one of our medical staff and wake them up so they could come help with a medical issue. So take it easy. Please don't let us find you passed out in the hallways. Um, if you watch out for yourself and your friends as far as like what you're doing is partying, if you need help, if you need issues, if you have an issue, medical or otherwise, Find us down in. Uh, there is a phone number on every single badge. Yeah. It is. I just saw every head covered by my thing. It's eight three three slash or eight three three fest sec, as in fest security. Yeah. And I think they can do that. They can report medical. They can report yeah. uh, mm. any security issues. Anything. It is on your badge. Yeah. And uh, and and realist of real talk. And everyone just kind of lean in. Thank you to those who actually did it. <laughs> no, uh, but seriously, if you are ever in a situation where you're like, oh no, I'm doing something that the cops probably don't want me to do and we are in a bad way, don't not call for help. Call for help. All we care about is helping you. Don't, 
it's all about your safety, guys. And I mean, like, it really, this year especially, really sucks, just safety wise. We all got to take so many precautions. And uh, honestly, like, the outcome, like, this event in, in a very large way is going to rely on kind of everyone continuing to pitch in, continuing to be helpful, keeping an eye out for other people. You know, you see someone's mask slip down, just go ahead, hey, you know? Right. Things like that. If somebody, uh, you know, even seems like they're out of sorts, you know, stumbling around, you know, maybe just, hey, are you doing all right? Yeah. You know, look out for each other, um, especially this MAGFest. Yeah, this is all mosh pit rolls, okay? When you're in the pit, the pit is MAGFest. Look out for each other, okay? Um, remember also, we talked about this as far as, like, the anti-harassment stuff. Respect what other people need to be comfortable. Sometimes you'll see your friend... They might be right, uh, ready or welcome for you. Just come up, give them a hug, talk to them face to face, whatever. But you know, ask. You know, hey, you good with hugs? Hey, you good with high fives? Elbow bump? I tried to get someone a fist bump, and he like swerved his elbow into me. It was a really smooth move. It was, it was like it was like. I think he was just elbowing you. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> he got I, you right there too. I didn't feel it. It's okay. Um, and then, yeah, like Dak said, report any incidents to security, um, security incidents, medical incidents, they'll be able to help you out. We're not here to narc, we're here to help. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right. Um, Radical. And I think that's pretty much it. Awesome. All right, so we've got about, uh, what does this say? Yep. I, like I said, 5 a.m., guys. Uh, 5 a.m. So we do, we do still have 18 minutes, and so let's just open this up for, like, any questions. Bam. Uh, Ask. <laughs> it's, it's, I believe it's Panketa. Thank you very much. No, it's not. Oh, um, God, that's... Uh, Okay, that, that's an security. Yeah, that's an excellent question. So um, at the door of the concert hall is concert security. They're going to be doing things like checking bags and whatnot. Ask one of them. They'll be able to give you a clear answer. Or you can text that, that number, FestSec, and you could ask right there. You know, I, I'm going to give it a try, actually. I'm going to see what happens. Are you familiar at all with the concept of marshmallow clapping? What if we innovated marshmallow moshing? Just bear with me. You ever, you ever do a marshmallow clap? If you know how to marshmallow clap, marshmallow clap. This is marshmallow clap. Now just mosh, but this. It'll look so cool, I promise. All right, any other questions? Hey, going this way, one, two. Is there any to Pretty much every department uh, runs their own tournament, so you just show up. All the, all, at least all the gamings down in the expo have like a help desk area, and that's typically where you sign up for the tournament. If you want to do the like console slash uh, arcade, you'll sign up for those in consoles because they start in consoles. Okay. But yeah. Oh, like. Oh. That's dope. Do you want to come up here? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, if the room is locked, don't go in. If the room is open, be prepared to get kicked out by security when they try to lock it. Are we doing any last minute panels? Yeah. What you should do is go to the panel's help desk, which is going to be out the door, down the way, and kind of like, it's one of the reg desks, like the, the built into the wall ones. It's on the store. It's like right over there. Okay. Um, go there and be like, hey, did we have any last minute drops? Could, is there any chance my panel could get in? Okay. okay? That, that is literally how my panel yeah. that I do um, every year. The worst thing they'll tell you is no. Got started. Yeah. The best panel ever. Um, Bam. Yeah. Uh, on the right. Yes. One, two. No. No. Next question. Over here. Excellent question, though. One more time? Yeah, right here. Bam. Oh. Yeah. That was cute. <laughs> no, no, but we have an arcade version of it. Oh, shit. Did yeah. we bring that? Yeah, we that, have an okay. arcade version of it called Scotto, I believe. Is that the one that like bounces all the hell around? Yeah. Okay, there is actually the coolest arcade if I have were, ever... Yeah. If you were here on day zero and saw the secret gazebo well, arcade, it was in there. Yeah, and I mean, the, the, the trick is you just preload and then you go, you know? <laughs> 
Right there. Next question. <laughs> right there. Uh, guys, it's hard to hear. Sorry. Chris. Keep it down for Chris. a second. Quiet coyote. Quiet coyote. Chris. That's a really good <laughs> so specific. question. Uh, is food allowed in the panel areas? I don't, I don't believe so. Yeah, I, yeah food yeah. actually so, isn't allowed in a lot of the areas. Like, I know it's not allowed in arcade and that type of stuff, but they usually have signs that tell you. So, yeah, unfortunately, it would be uh, no, unless there were, like, um, you know, basically a medical reason, um, in which case we can, you know, totally clear that. Yeah. But in any case, even if there is a medical reason, you know, we would ask that anybody who is ever removing their mask for any, again, like medical or legitimate reason. Make sure that you are spread out from everybody else. Make sure you try and go from like, you know, it, you, you guys know the drill at this point. God, it's like 2022. <sighs> like as in 2020, yeah. T-O-O. Um, and if in case of any like medical things like that, uh, they, what's the email for accessibility? Accessibility at MagFest. Accessibility at MagFest. Yeah, you can email them and be like, hey, here's my medical condition and they can work with you to figure out like any any kind of setup you might need. They might give you a scooter. Yeah. You deserve granola. All right, Yoshi hat and then black Yoshi shirt. Hat. I believe they supply controllers. Yeah, we, we have controllers. But you can also bring your own, like, if you... Yeah, because yeah. I know you're sitting there, you know, trying to get your Yoshi main on. I, I, <laughs> yo, I get it, man. You know, I get it. Go ahead. It, that's actually a pretty, that's a really apt comparison. In fact, I think we, we basically talked that it's about the same size as the when we first moved into the Gaylord. So, yeah, this is going to be like MAGFest, what, 10? Kind of like that, something I, like that? I'd say it's probably a little bit bigger. I'd say we're probably going to be more like 13 or 14 yeah. at the end of the event. But, yeah, we're, we're down probably about... I don't want to say a number on yeah on it, a recording, but it, we're down we're down a significant portion. Ooh, but we're still gonna have fun. God damn right. Oh, side note, I'm just gonna let so because you're all new, I'm gonna let you all in on this now, so you can become the cool kids. Um, speaking they of tournaments, anyone here play a game by the goes by the name of Beyblades? Okay. There will be an underground Beyblade tournament. We will announce it on the MAGFest 21 Plus Facebook group. Time and place to be determined by how fucking cool you are. <laughs> be on the lookout. All right, can we get some more questions? Go ahead. We are technically in Maryland. It is legal medically, not recreationally. Y'all look pretty sick to me, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, came from, I came from Baltimore. I drove south on 295 on like two, Monday night. Almost died several times. Um, and then left Maryland to go into D.C., drove through D.C., and then re-entered Maryland to get here. So yes, we are unfortunately still in Maryland. I just yeah. always find I that thought dumb. this was going to be like, you're going to tell us how high you were or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that was going. You, question. Are what? Bean masks allowed. Uh, yeah, but only in the designated bean mask areas. Yep, you got it. There are no signs telling you they're the designated areas. Go ahead. There are, I believe there are two gender neutral bathrooms. They are uh, uh, notated on the maps. There may be more. I know that for certain though, there are at least two that are uh, notated on the maps, which are on guidebook. There are maps uh, on easels throughout the event. And then of course you can go to info desk uh, to either take a look at the map or there are paper handouts as well. Yeah, one should be up here and one should be downstairs towards the expo hall. Great question. Yeah. Any other questions? Otherwise, can we get out of here early? Question. Eric Poach. Dak. Josiah, sorry. Carrie. What's your name? Yeah. John? John. 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 They glow up. Oh, I love it. Um, 
I am just so captivated with your light up vest. I love it so oh, much. Yeah, Can we just good. look at like that's the light up? That's real good. I <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, I give it up. Yeah. Um light light up light up vest human. Do you have a question just cuz I I just yeah, want to talk to you. Yeah, we just want to talk. Oh, good shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. True. True. Yeah. Magfest experience, baby, right there. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Yeah. Wait, there's a question. T-shirt. There's a question. Oh, let, yeah, let's oh, run yeah, through it real quick. Time. You should totally tell that story. Uh, so if you've been to MAGFest when it was working, uh, we have a six-player X-Men cab uh, that uh, was donated to us years ago by a gentleman named Charles Margolis, who has unfortunately passed away from cancer since. So it is our memorial cab. There is a plaque on it for him. It also happens to be signed by Stan Lee as well. But uh, for... Uh, years uh, when we were in the Mark Center, uh, the arcade used to be directly kind of next to the marketplace. And I don't know, because I was not in charge of arcade at this time, uh, who was the genius person to do it, but they had the, the, the volume up on high and they had it right there at the edge of everything. And if you've ever played the game, you've heard when you play Colossus. And if you're not playing the game, it also loops through that. So that was constantly happening in the open area, so it was echoing everywhere, and it just became a war cry for MAGFesters, and that's what we do. Yeah, and yep. if you know anything about the Mark Center, it's actually kind of built up as a loop, so what we actually have is like this weird wave effect where like somebody would roar here, and it would just trail around and kind of circle on itself. Yeah, and then it just kept going. It was yeah. like an infinite wave. <laughs> anyway, the TLDR is that it's a stupid MAGFest thing, and that's the kind of shit that we live for. Yeah. And if you want to see the special MAGFest uh, X-Men cab, you should see it in the museum. The ones in the arcade will be the newer ones. Um, but check it out. It is signed by Stan Lee, and there is a, it is a memorial plaque to Charles Magalas. All right, Bryce. <laughs> oh, God, I love you so much, Brycey. The million-dollar question. So uh, our boy Brycey just asked, how can attendees volunteer, and what do they get? You want to take this one? Sure. Um, jack shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> the no. sense of accomplishment. Um, okay, cool. So we have, uh, if you want to go volunteer, best way to do that is to come to Stops, Staffing Operations over in Azalea 2. Um, Which is nearby uh, medical. It's like medical security. Medical. Yeah. yeah, just keep going. Um, we'll have a door that's available to attendees so you can enter the room. Um, but we have a staff space beyond that. It's kind of like a weird half and half. Um, you come talk to our staff, say, I'd like to volunteer. We'll get you set up. We'll, we'll get you sign up for some shifts. Um, you do that time. Uh, On-site people, um, if you are here and you have not yet signed up, you are eligible for one perk. And that's going to be this really cool exclusive glass coffee mug. Um, has, was anyone at opening ceremonies last year? Tw in 2022 or 2020, sorry. We're going to be doing no. that a lot. Yeah. If anybody was at opening ceremonies in the year 2020, you might remember the, the mug gate debacle where I ordered these mugs in 2019 and they did not arrive. And we had to order brand new coffee mugs at the same time. And they were like, just like white mugs with the word mug fest printed on it. I mug thought it was players. They were the worst mugs I've ever seen oh, in it's my life. So, they're so shitty. So that's what you'll get for volunteering yeah, no, here no. at MacFest. What you'll get are the nice coffee mugs that we got. They're like etched glass. Oh, laser those are etched. actually legit. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're like Irish they're, coffee mugs. Yeah. They're really swell. It's good for bourbon. Nice little like, yeah. yeah. Keeps mm. it nice and chill. Yeah. yeah. So if you're interested in that, working six hours anywhere at the event over the course of the next four days, we'll make you eligible for that. That's something that nobody else is going to get. Not the staff, not the other volunteers. They've got their own set of perks. Yep. Yeah, uh, so there's a big event that uh, happens every Sunday uh, at MAGFest at, uh, I believe, 11 a.m., which, you know, we're all degenerates, so it's tough to wake up that early. However, I highly, highly recommend it. It is in Panels 1, and it is the charity auction. It benefits Child's Play, uh, which is one of uh, our personal favorite uh, charities, um, which they do a whole lot of stuff. It's 
there's a whole charity booth downstairs and Child's Play is there. So I highly recommend visiting them, talking to them. But the cool thing about the charity auction is that it goes off the goddamn rails so quickly. We start auctioning off, you know, normal things. You know, I think this year we might have like, you know, a Switch, PS5, maybe some DVDs, maybe some, I don't know, DJ Hero stickers, stuff like that, right? Um, but then eventually Adam and myself kind of get a little frustrated at how much money people are willing to pay for really, really stupid shit. I believe it was, what, like five years ago, um, we were so upset that like this like terrible action figure went for, I don't know, like 30 bucks or something. And I was like, you guys will literally buy anything. I grabbed a napkin, I drew a dick on it, and I go, all right, let's hear it. And I think it got like $18. Right? Like for charity, which was great because it's dicks for kids. And you cannot. He said that on camera. Did it... We're not recording this, right? This is live streamed to the internet, I believe. Let me elaborate. It is a drawn animated for child's play charity. You said, you said dicks for kids and Poach was gone faster than I've ever seen him move in his entire life. So if you want more content Back like that, that A-plus content, please come to the charity auction. Genuinely speaking, you are beat red, my friend. Uh, <laughs> genuinely speaking, though, it, everything does uh, benefit Child's Play Charity. It is such an amazing charity. And they let us get away with saying stupid things like that because they know at the end of the day, it's a net positive for the world. So please, please come to the charity auction, win some really awesome stuff. Uh, win some really stupid stuff, too, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You're doing a good thing by helping others. I can't believe I said that. Yeah, the how, board in no way supports dicks How long for kids. was I gone? <laughs> I had a different life. <laughs> they made me their king. The I had man. a wife. <laughs> uh, any more questions? Last question. Right there. Not me. All right. All right, Poach, you ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. do this competition. has the useless theater degree, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much for coming to MAGFest this year. Thank right. you. Remember the rules and have a great year. Thank you so much.